Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabati fillah Sheikh Imam Al-Muhaddith Sheikh Abdul Masin Al-Abad Hafizullah Ta'ala said something which we can benefit from about how the youth should not be caught up in the supposed their engagement in general ta'deel or criticizing and praising individuals and also making tip D of individuals. This is not their place. And we've already done countless videos giving you the kalam of Sheikh Salih bin Fazan, giving you the kalam of Sheikh Ibrahim Rahali, giving you the kalam of Sheikh Abdul Masan al Abad, giving you the kalam of how many ulama that have spoken about this issue. Do not get involved in it as youth who do not have the tools and knowledge. And also beware of blind following. If you blind follow, if you take the call, that's okay. If you take brother so and so said, Da'i so and so said, so I take this position. That's okay. But don't make ilzam force the people to take your position because your position might not be correct and it might not be based on dalil. And dalil is from Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Fahim of the Salaf is Ummah. Listen to what Imam uh, Sheikh Abdul Masan al Abad said. The question May Allah be good to you. When is it correct to warn against a Da'i or student of knowledge in totality? Because some some, uh, and then the sheikh interrupted him. So the sheikh said, busying yourself with warning and busying yourself with people. What do you say about this person? What do you say about so-and-so's person? Should or shouldn't we warn against this person? Some people do not know anything else except warning and busying himself with warning. They do not know anything about the fundamentals of knowledge. The only things he busies himself with are these matters. It is not appropriate for a Muslim that his main task is speaking about people or asking about people and that the only thing he busies himself with is people. Rather, he should busy himself with knowledge without talking about people. True, a person whose evil, sinfulness, and harm has become clear, then it is possible to warn against him. But not everybody who falls into error or mistake should be warned against. Because if this was the case, then nobody would be left. Who is the one who has never fallen into error? Who is the one who only possesses good? The questioner then said, because some people drop certain scholars due to certain matters. Like when a certain scholar has some de definitions which are incorrect, or this scholar uses a certain method in educating which he holds incorrect. The sheikh then responded, he said, either way, it is upon a person to take care of his good deeds without losing some of them or sharing them with the people. He should keep those good deeds for himself and leave the people and warning against them alone. What he needs to do is busy himself with beneficial knowledge and educate others if he is qualified to do so. And if he is not qualified, then he should learn. And this was Imam Sheikh Abdul Masin al Abad letting us know what? then not everyone should be involved in that. And every time someone falls into error, you cannot necessarily refute them and attack them and belittle them. Otherwise, I promise you, there will be no, no scholars because there's not a scholar on the earth that has not made a mistake. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kullu ibn Adam all the children of Adam make mistakes and the best of those who sin and make mistakes is those who repent and we ask Allah the Almighty for his good and may Allah forgive us of our many sins